Awesome. So we are here with day three. And again, Greg, thank you so much for stopping in this morning. Please let the audience know how your experience was creating a business on autopilot with Facebook ads. All right. Well, I'm, I'm more than happy to, to be on here with you. Thank you for asking, number one. Number two, um, you know, I... <clears throat> I think it was in February, I was looking through some stuff and I came upon your your post in Facebook and I followed you for about mm, maybe two weeks before I signed up, uh, signed us up because we'd been looking for another avenue to generate some income leads, that kind of thing, right? And I just kept, and, and of course, there's, there's other ads out there, mm -hmm. but just seeing the things that you did and following you for a couple of weeks, I, I, I just felt like there was a connection that was of familiarity, if you will, um, kind of like-minded type of thinking. So then we signed up for the, your three-day class and really didn't know what to expect, to be honest with you. I mean, I, we really had no idea because Jan and I worked our business together and, and she's indisposed this morning. But um, And so, you know, we, we signed up and we, we did the, I don't remember what you called it, the ultimate experience or whatever it was, so that we could print off um, all the material and then fill it out because... As much as I love technology, if I can write stuff down, yes. a piece of paper, and and so you know that that minimal fee to get that extra workbook and, and those kind of things really was, was uh, a big deal for for us because then we could write it down and scratch off and do all that stuff. So you know, and and so then we started and you know day one. I don't exactly remember what we covered, but I know that the assignment at the end of the day, you know, we went to work hard on that and learned some things and then got your input um, based on that. And, and I was, and man, we thought we, we thought we did good, <laughs> and then, you know, and, and then we got, we got your input and we're like, Oh, cause you know, hopefully people sign up for the, for any kind of training and mentors with, with an open mind, number one, and number two, looking to learn something every day. Yes. And that's what we experienced with you, Cecilia, is, is that throughout the, the class periods um, on the three consecutive days, we learned something new as we went along the whole time, knowing that we didn't know a lot to begin with. We had thoughts of what it maybe was. And, and you, of course, opened our eyes to know that nah, that what you thought is and what it actually is is two different things. And, and there was there was more to it than I actually thought, right? And yeah. and um, creating the ads and and then um, and then we jumped on with for the next six weeks with you because we wanted to learn more. And, awesome. and we just finished up those those six weeks and and um, there's definitely even a lot more to go. Um, but you, you know, you're there every step of the way. Yeah. You're you're no different than you are because you're present. You you yeah. tell us you tell everybody when you're present. You you're you're real with people. Mm -hmm. You're you're a real you care about people and that comes across in your teaching and your training and then as you go on with everybody involved and and it, it I, I hope that people are that are that are in your class are looking for coaches uh, because no matter I mean Tiger Woods was the best golfer in the world for a long long time right and he had a coach for every different piece of his game and and for certain pieces of that game and and I've been a football coach for the last 37 years Yep. And, and I know a lot about the game and I have a lot of friends in, in high places that, I mean, Tony Dungy is a good friend of mine. And, yeah. and so, so go Colts, Indianapolis. And, and, and so, you know, he taught me a lot of things and, and, and a couple of coaches that are no longer with us that were, were legends poured into, you know, if you're 
place with the right people, things can get done. And, and regardless of the business that you're in or what you're going to go about. And that really that's, that's what we found is that you pour in your knowledge and even, you know, and, and Jen and I are a little bit more challenging probably. And Cecilia might be able to, she'll shake your head because um, we, we chose the avenue of Wix, right? And yep. so <laughs> Cecilia was there every step of the way because we ran into a couple of challenges early on yeah. Um, yeah. With, with the way we were setting everything up and because we didn't, I don't know why we didn't choose the, what you said, you know, what most of the other people did, but I, I think it was because Jan had some background with Wix, but in a different setting, right? Um, so you dug through those things with us and, and you... <laughs> You're, you were there every step of the way. And, and so everything that you ever promised, you delivered on. So uh, you, and, and, I don't, and I don't see that. You don't find that with a lot of people because even coaches that are out there, in my opinion, look, every, if you're in that field, you're, there, you're not there for free. Right. And, and, you know, one of my readings this morning came from Tony Robbins. And he said, if you're not surrounding yourself with people that are bigger thinkers than you, then you're not going to improve. Right. Paraphrasing. So, you know, and, and that's really what Jan and I were looking for when, when we found you and, and what we found. And not only are you a, a friend and a, co or a coach, but you've become a good friend. So. Love that. And, you know, I consider all my clients my friends because I do get intimately involved with your business because your success is my success. But before you came to me, you and Jan were already wildly successful with your network marketing business. I mean, you've been on tons of vacations. You were going on a cruise right after you signed up. So what made you decide to take the leap into the paid advertising world? <laughs> We had never, ever attempted uh, paid advertising to generate interest in leads. Um, you know, we, we've always done more attraction marketing, and this is kind of attraction marketing on steroids is the way mm -hmm. I would put it, because, um, I, you know, I just got done looking through some of the information yesterday because we turned a, our, our last ad off last Wednesday. And we've created some other stuff, but that's for a different time because um, we haven't posted it up yet because we're going back through everything that we've learned in the six weeks so far. And, and there's, you know, we've got another three weeks of craziness coming up. So we, we allot certain parts of our day for certain stuff. So really it was to inject more into what we were already doing because we, we do this, we are full-time. Um, yeah. we, we were able to generate enough income to step away from our, our careers and, and Jan a year before me. And, and then, um, you know, I think I, it, like every other business, there's ebbs and flows. And, yeah. and we, we actually were on an ebb and we weren't on the downward, you know, it, because our business is kind of done this and it's kind of stayed right here for a while so it was like okay um even though it's good enough to where neither of us have to worry about going back to work we want more you know goals. we have goals and so we, we thought there has to be something to this and we heard some rumblings from some of our peers about somebody that had used it and you know and i've heard some things because we have taken trainings from other um network marketing specialists um and they pay they advertise yeah and so i was like there's got to be something to it but i don't want to get involved with somebody that is like this i've never been a big conglomerate type thinker you know if, if you're yeah. going to bring on have a thousand clients in the class i grew up in a, my class in high school i had my whole high school 110 Oh, wow. And so, so Jan and I graduated with a class of 30 kids, right? Yep. So I've always, and we went to a college where I don't think I had more than ever 20 kids in my class because I think there were 600 in the whole college. It, it, at the first college, right? And then, and so that's kind of what I was looking for. Somebody that would be more one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. give you time 
and and our class, I think we had about 10, mm -hmm. eight yep. or 10 people. I don't remember. It was perfect because then I felt like the questions that were asked, whether we asked them or, or our peers asked them, you were able to, because of the size of, of your group, three day group, mm -hmm. you were able to really generate more um, individual attention per that and knowing and and because you're experienced and 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 good at what you do you're able to answer that in a way that everybody could could learn from it awesome well again you guys have been super successful with your network marketing company and i enjoyed our time together i love seeing you get success your first ad came out the gate like a kentucky derby contender <laughs> And, and that's the one that ended up being the butt kicker. Yep. I, all the way through. That was the last one that I took down last week. And, and it was still running. When I took it down, it, it was still running at 41%. That is awesome. So, um, you know, it'll probably go back up. But um, we have a couple other things to try to figure out with the next thing. Because everything you showed us is working good. Now we're figuring out that next hook. And and all and really what I, what I'll tell the class is we're going to be back. Cecilia is we're just on a, a mini break from Cecilia. Well, I love it has that. Nothing to do with anything else. Oh, I and I love that um, you're getting value, and you brought up a very good point about the training. And inside of the membership portal, did you find it easy to navigate and easy to consume? <laughs> I did, um, especially for me, because of the two of us, I am the most technically challenged. I can I can get on Zooms, I can talk. Um, I mean, I, I, I left teaching a little over a year ago now, and I never ever used a book. Oh, wow. I, I, I mean, I read books all the time, but I just, I also do a lot of investigating in the investigation. And so I, I like to bring facts and, and stories. Yes. And really that's, you know, when, when you got to that part of the training about that, and, and then I could go from our one-on-one -on -one sessions back into your training portal, and I could go back in and, and say, oh, it's this video right here because it's self-explanatory. And, and we earmarked some of those things so that we remembered, okay, this is the video we got to come back to when we have a question or it talks about that because then Jan and I would bounce things off of each other and say, okay, that was in the, we got to go back and listen to that again. And all our one-on-ones were, were Zoomed and you sent those to us. So we have those to lean back on. And, and really your, your training portal is a step-by-step. -step. And for me, Having that in there was really the only way that I could have navigated because I could have, without, no, you'd have probably pulled all your hair out <laughs> if it would have been me because I'm so much, I'm a different learner than Jan is. And she can take, take something and run and I got to get my hands dirty. I mean, I'm a, I'm a farm kid. I grew up on a farm. I got to get dig my hands in the dirt. And, and when it doesn't work, I'll throw the dirt. I'll go back and look and say, okay, what kind of tool do I need here? And, and so those having that and then be able to look at examples and then the video and then go back in and read. And, and uh, you know, un until I turned 50, I didn't read anything but the sports page. You felt like my dad, he was the same way. <laughs> and, and now, I mean, in the last 12 years, I'm 62. And in the last 12 years, I have... I have a library of books that I have read and, and reread because with one eye, you don't read very fast. So, you you know, you just get told you, you're not going to understand this reading. But if you find what's interesting and and so reading the, the material you had in the portal, listening to the videos and having the, the examples that that really, really made it worthwhile. Well, I am just excited because you guys have had wild success, um, and that's what I strive for, right? I definitely want you to have the tools to write the message that connects and converts, and you were able to write a message that instantly just resonated with your ideal clients, and you've had massive success. I think you've grown your email list to about 100 or so people that 
ass to be in t- 200. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, yeah, so it grew to a little over 200, Cecilia. Um, and it because it, it doubled those last two weeks. Ah. And, and you know, because over the last 10 days, I think, um, because we went, I rem- I know you said something about we got, we're going to look to for the parameters somewhere around a thousand plus right per ad yep. and, and then it'll it'll dump out in in the end in the portal and um, so our our short image with headline one um, and and then of course we brought to you the story and then you helped us tweak it to where it would be more user friendly mm-hmm. and, and really that was that was the key is not doing it on your own, but having guidance from somebody who does it on a daily basis, who has experience there, and tweaked a couple of words. It started being wildly successful, and then you helped us with the, with the follow-ups. Yeah. Um, with, with the tweaks that we did there, and, the, and then those, those last 10 days or so, I mean, it, it was over... I think we had 4,100 clicks total on that one. And I think, and no, it was 2,600 on that one, a little over 2,600 and, and then um, our views. And then, but the clicks were, I don't know, we, we were at 41%. That's the best I can tell you is that I know I did that math and it was 40.98%. Awesome. Uh, yep. That's what we're looking for right there. And, and the other two that we were taking on a couple of days before that were one was at 31 and the other one was at 39. So, you know, yeah. you, you kept telling us industry standard is 30%. Yep. And so, you know, and, and again, not having any idea about what all that meant when we started, we put our trust in you and, and you delivered. And, and that was, and that was what we were looking for when we signed up for the three day class to begin yeah. with. Everything that you put out, you delivered on. Love and, it. And that's really what I think people need to look for in a coach. I love that. Well, I don't want to take too much more of your time, but I just have two more questions for you before I let you get back to your day. The first question is How did you feel having a business on autopilot where you weren't constantly out there messaging people and popping in their DMs and things like that? How does it feel to have a business on autopilot? <laughs> You know, once once we, it's like everything else that you put the work in the front end. If you want the the auto the quote autopilot to come on the other end, and and then you know, for us, it really was uh, a godsend to to know that you know we without having sixty five lines in the water, you know, and and number one, but number two, then you have to be ready for the work that comes with that Uh at at the end, because otherwise, what are you doing, right? Yep. And and so um, it made things more efficient. It created, because we've been involved in, in our current network marketing company for three and a half years, almost four years. It created more efficient ways that we do almost everything because we kind of took that efficiency thought process over into some of our other daily operational uh, procedures that we do. I love that. Well, again, I so enjoyed working with you and Jan. I'm excited to continue to teach you more of the secrets that happen behind the magic curtain of Facebook ads. And I know you're going to continue to be wildly successful in your business. Now, I have to ask, if someone wanted to reach you and Jan and find out more about you and your network marketing company and your business, how would they get in touch with you? Um. Well, number one, through you can email me, um, okay. at Greg underscore Berg at hotmail dot com, and or go look at. Um, I, gosh, I'm going to mess this up because I didn't do it. But I think it's Jan and Greg Berg on Facebook. Um, you know, and and if there are other Greg Bergs out there, all you got to do is look for the bald head guy and the beautiful blonde. <laughs> Um, 
Awesome. And, and so that way, or on Messenger, it's the same thing. And, and we're more than happy to talk to people, A, about our network marketing company, but B, about success principles um, that, that we've learned in all aspects, um, you know, in, in up to and including success principles that we've learned in just the last few months from you. Fantastic. So I put your links in the chat. So anyone out there, if they're interested in finding out how Jan and Greg are taking cruises, going on exotic vacations, how they retired each other and they are full time work from home and their business, the link is in the chat. So you can reach out to them. I can tell you personally, they are the nicest, sweetest people to ever meet. And if you browse their page, you're going to fall in love with their TikToks and their reels. <laughs> we just, you know, you got to have fun with everything you do. I mean, somebody, like so many other people, I grew up, you know, trying to be serious. And then I got over that and we've just... <laughs> We've just had fun, you know. We've been married forty-five years, and and we laugh at each other, and 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 you know, have fun with our our grandkids, and and um, and really, the the last couple of months spent with you, that's been a lot of fun. We have laughed a lot. The three of us have laughed a lot, even in the aggravating times, and and you know, I I I will have to say, I, I think that the one thing that caught me to begin with the reason that we investigated you more and followed you more before we signed up was your smile oh thank you and, 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 you know because I wasn't looking for somebody that was like come on let's do this because I can do that on the football field every day right so you know I, it's all about community and and we were looking for somebody that we felt would fit into the community that we're creating in our business and and um just to have, be fun to have money and, you know make money and have fun and and there's too many negative things out there in the world mm -hmm. you know yes that, you know if, if you want to watch what's going on on uh, on the crazy train and watch go ahead I, i'm fine with that go ahead if that's what interests you <laughs> but i'm about living life and and yes. man and life's too short to worry about the stuff you can't control Amen to that. I agree 100%. Well, Greg, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you for sharing your experience with me and your success with Business on Autopilot using Facebook ads. I'm excited to see what the future holds and looking forward to working with you and Jan in the future. Please tell her I said hello and you too have a wonderful day. <laughs> you too, Cecilia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too, my friend.